We now know that the answer to the question, why is life on Earth so varied, is actually the answer to the question, why is the DNA molecule itself so varied? What are the natural processes that cause the structure of DNA to change? Well, part of the answer, actually, doesn't lie on Earth at all. It lies up there amongst the stars. And I'll show you what I mean using this, which is the cloud chamber, a piece of apparatus that has a unique place in the history of physics. And look at that. You see that cloud, that vapor trail? That's a cosmic ray. That was initiated by a particle, probably a proton, that hit the Earth's atmosphere. It almost certainly originated outside our solar system and was accelerated by the magnetic fields of our galaxy. It may even have begun its life beyond our galaxy. Imagine if one of those hits the DNA of a living thing. What that will do is cause a mutation. That mutation may be detrimental or very, very occasionally it might be beneficial. Maybe one of the key mutations that was selected for over the millennia that led to some trait in me was caused by some particle that began its life, perhaps in a massive supernova explosion.